And straight to our breaking news for you here on the program this morning. Ukrainian troops are reportedly storming the eastern city of Slavyansk, which is being held by anti-government protesters. A local self-defense forces say there has been a shooting on the ground and aerial attacks, and they claim the army has seized the city's TV station. Let's go live to Paula Slea, who's standing by in the region right now, and get the very latest on this here on RT International. Paula, what do, what do you know about the reports of the fighting in and around Slavyansk? Can you bring us up to speed? Well, we were receiving these reports almost by the minute. It was expected that an action like this would happen on Friday morning. We were hearing that the Ukrainian army was reportedly planning to attack the southeastern cities of Slavyansk, Donetsk and elsewhere. Now, we are hearing from a local self-defense commander that at least one helicopter has dropped soldiers near the town of Slavyansk. And reports just in suggest that one pilot has been killed and and another has been taken hostage. There is heavy fighting happening in the vicinity of the railway station. Locals have been telling us that they've been hearing cannons being fired in the outskirts of the town. We also understand that at least one checkpoint has been taken. Now, several checkpoints have come under attack. Reinforcements by these self-defense units are being brought to checkpoints that man and control all the roads in and out of Slavyansk. The city center at the moment is quite quiet but there have been alarms sounding for the better part of the last hour hour and a half and residents have been ordered to stay inside a short time ago we spoke to one resident inside the besieged town Early in the morning, a major operation on the city began. Armored vehicles came to the outskirts of the city, where the fighting is going on. In the center of the city, troops are being dropped in by helicopters. There are also right sector members there. We also understand that at least eight armored vehicles have been seen right up close near the town of Slavyansk. We are hearing reports of injuries. We are hearing something between two and five people have been injured, but of course that still needs to be verified. We also understand that the police station has come under attack. There is heavy fighting being reported in the vicinity of the police station, and we are receiving unconfirmed accounts that fighters from the right sector are involved. As soon as we're able to verify that we'll get back to you on that point now as you can well imagine telephone lines are very very poor we're struggling to speak with people inside the city we are talking to residents we have been talking to the local commander as well as several members of the self-defense unit the town has been expecting this there is an atmosphere of of panic and of fear indeed the reports have been taken seriously that the ukrainian army is planning to launch such an attack and at the same time we understand that the Ukrainian army is using both ground troops and air support. Now there continues to be helicopters flying over the town. At this stage it does seem as if this is an operation that is well orchestrated and is likely to continue for quite some time. The self-defense units report that, they, that although they have been expecting it, they are poorly equipped, they're not sufficiently trained to take on the Ukrainian army. Army. There has been a call that went out in the town of Slavyansk and in other towns here in the southeast of the country in recent days asking for volunteers from cities and towns for local residents to sign up and join these self-defense units because as I've been saying it was expected that the Ukrainian army would launch such an attack. Now in the last few days we have witnessed at least 12 local administration buildings in this part of the country being seized by these anti-Kiev supporters. When we've spoken to people at these buildings they say that it's to prepare the ground for a referendum that they hope will still be held on the 11th of May and that although the buildings have been taken it is life as usual that all matters and all employees are still coming into the building and matters and operations are continuing as usual but just to update you on the situation in Slavyansk it does seem as if the Ukrainian military has launched an operation that started in the early hours of this morning at around five o'clock local time it does seem to be intensifying and as we speak we continue to hear reports of injuries among those self-defense unit members. All right, Artis at Paula Slear with the latest on this breaking news from eastern Ukraine. Paula, thank you.